What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Big Blue Ball, back with a new series. I'm here today playing Go Go. Oh. Go Go Town. I'm playing the play test. Thank you guys at uh, Go Go Town for giving me early access. And thank you, uh, Bring the Party, my twin brother, for reaching out for me. I appreciate you guys. But let's jump in. I played a little bit before just to see if I could get the hang of things. I got the hang of things. So let's jump in. The duffel bag has landed. Oh, it's like an Animal Crossing type like simulation game where you kind of build a town and you manage people and not manage, but you can just build like a town and like you get to like manage your town and make it cute. And I'm, I'll be honest, play it for 15 minutes. It's really good. So, uh, I repeat the duffel bag has landed. Ooh. Oh, oh, I'm different. I look different from last time. Welcome to town kid. Or should I say mayor? Kiki. <laughs> There's plenty of work for you in town. There's plenty of work left for you for the game devs too. My agents are here to guide you every step of the way. If you aren't sure what to do, talk to them. Don't bother me. Report any bugs you find using F8 unless you, they have legs. Those you can squash yourself. Whoa, talk about arriving just in time. I only have a few minutes left on the clock. All I can offer you is the Express Mare training package. I'm pretty sure it's the only type of training we offer. Okay, let's start by repairing the statue. You see those piles of stones lying around? They're left over from the town from town demolition and perfect for our first bit of training. Go forge and collect a bunch. Once you've got enough, deliver them to the construction storage in front of the statue. I'll be honest, I just turned on stream remote and I'm hoping it's still on. Streamer mode's on. Okay, that's why I actually reset the game was because I filmed like 15 minutes and it wasn't in streamer mode. And it's the first episode of the series. And if you guys know anything about the first episode of the series, it matters more than anything. Uh, so make sure you like and comment and all that. But uh, occasionally it's been shown that if you don't have it monetized, uh, YouTube won't push it as hard. I don't know if that's still true, but that was true at one point and I don't want to risk it. Dude. I can't believe you actually sc scrounged around in the rubble. They couldn't pay me enough to do that. At least I got paid. Now that you've got the concept of forge of forage down, forge, foraging, forge, uh, down. Let's move on to building. We've got this spot right here in, uh, right here. We got the spot right here to build on, and boss isn't even going to charge you for it. You'll just need to craft a few bricks and planks to build the shop. Looks like you're in a bit of a bind, kid. You're gonna need help from Town Co. if you want to build out ta uh, build out town. The Ego Tech app uh, we just installed will uh, help you get that shop built and start earning Town Town Co. Uh, the town some money and help me buy that mega yacht I've of my dreams. Use the phone tab, purchase the starter industry pack, and get to building. Just remember, the first pack is free, but they'll cost you in the future. Alrighty, let's buy this pack. This is really cute. This guy? What do we got? What do we got? Starter industry pack. Okay, I wasn't sure if I could hover over those and like see what they are. Excellent. You've purchased the starter industry pack. Where does that equipment go? Well, if you open your phone tab, you'll see uh, we've installed a map app that'll help you find your way around. On the right of the map, you'll find the, uh, you'll, you'll locate the mining and forestry zones. Once they're open, the build menu B and build your items. My agents will, they will be there to help you out should you need it. And don't forget you can go inside the mine. I hear there's lots of resources inside. Alrighty, let's go. He said to the right. Tab. Back. Map. Interesting map. I believe it's these two spots, by the way. Um, <laughs> it would be interesting if you could hover over those and you know, see what they are about. Okay, we're here. We got a little car. It's actually a really cute car. Okay, let's, uh, so he said, click B. 
I'm going to build it right here so it's close to the exit. And collect as much wood as I can. Uh, so here you just want to collect the wood and then you run it over there. And you make planks and you call it a day. Boop. I'm going to make a little bit of extra. Just because, you know, I'm already over here. So might as well uh, grab what we can. And I'll tell you from uh, what I've already recorded, I know that this I should be doing this. Is it a little bit of a, I don't want to say cheap, a little bit of a head start maybe, but. All right, now we come over here. Here, you can build this guy. I'm going to place it right there on the edge. You could uh, build uh, whatever that is. You could build, uh, I guess, I, I think it's like a jackhammer. I don't know. I didn't uh, I didn't do it last time. And I'm not going to do it here because I can just collect these. But I imagine it'll let you break the larger rocks. Let me grab this one too. Plenty of uh, bricks there. Alrighty, let's throw those back here. Whee! This is really tough to drive, because if you click back, it actually doesn't go back. It just, it only goes forward. The only way to break is, uh, space. Which just feels a little, I don't know, feels a little odd for control-wise. But, it's not like it's a problem. Okay, let's grab all that. Get all this stuff placed. Snippy snip. With the shell of the building constructed, you're now up to your first decision as mayor. You'll need to decide what type of shop it will become. Interact with the blinking box to manage the shell. Select a, a fit out and then the recipe that uh, the shop will sell. Uh, this is all you. Decision making is above my pay grade. Let's decide it. Um... There's this one, and then craft corners, which is wooden trickets and pet rocks. Or you can go eat and go, which is deep fried donuts, shroom kebabs. We're going with deep fried donuts and shroom kebabs. And I guess it's two recipes, so let's click them both. Uh, with that decision out of the way, you'll now need to stock the shop. Head back to the mining and forestry zones to track down the goods you need. Once you've collected the items, deliver them to the storage bin in the shop. If you find if you find your bag is getting a bit too full, you can take that uh, truck parked near the zones and take the goods back. It might be a bit slow, but you can store a lot of items in the back of it. So what do I need? I need go nuts, which I uh, got. So I'll go ahead and toss those in. Then I need mushrooms. Uh, so mushrooms, I had tough time finding them personally. Um, they're through here. You go into here and then you'll find mushrooms in the cave. I could not find them for like 10 minutes the first time I played. So here you go. Boop. And let's collect some mushrooms. Look at the, I love these graphics. I think it's super cute. I think it's really, uh, I think it's a kind of unique look at, uh, this style of game. I'm into it. I'm excited to see all this game has to offer. And if you guys, uh, watch any of my other series, you better not like them too much because I think I really like this game. I'll probably end up going pretty hard on this. Bad news. The entire town was demolished. So there's one, so there's no one here to run the shop. Oh, I forgot. Great news. You just need to repair the train station to get uh, people to visit the town again. It'll just require a few bricks and planks to repair the station. You know the drill. All right. A few bricks and planks. I'll store those in there too. Uh, I believe I do have the planks needed, but I don't have enough... Um, or the bricks needed, but I don't have enough wood yet to make the planks. So let's go ahead. Grab all this stuff. I'll uh, take the car over there. Is that where I can change what I look like? 
Because I'd like to, you know, make this guy look a little bit more like me. Got him. So you can't drive off of the road. Good to know. One sec. I want to see if I can change what I look like. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh... Uh... I got big sleepy looking eyes. Go with those. My eyes are... What the heck? All right, we're going with black. I don't want glowing eyes. I have pretty long hair right now. But I also have a mustache. Not a soul patch. Oh! <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. How do I change? Can I? Ch oh, here we go. I don't know how I feel how this mustache looks. Look at like this. This is a Noah fit in like a pair of skinny jeans. Those are some sharp looking shoes. If you're telling me this music doesn't have copyright in it, I'd be very impressed. Because it's kind of a vibe. Uh, well, I'm big blue bug, so let's, uh, yeah, let's go blue. White. I think that looks cool. I kind of look like a genie. We're ready to cut the ribbon? Woo! The station is repaired! You'll need to reopen it so tourists can visit. You can do that by switching that big lever just over there. You can also close the station at any time. It's great for when you want a nap. Eh. I mean, if you need some piece to carry out your duties. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and open the... I wish there was a... Is there a photo mode? This game feels like one that would have a photo mode. Um, oh, I don't know where to find the key bindings. Yeah, maybe that's only in the main menu. Alrighty. Paint. Is there a blue one? Oh, there we go. We're opening the train station. Woo! Choo-choo! That, wait, is that a ghost? Wait, there's two ghosts. Wait, hold up. <laughs> the train got here quick. As well as a few tourists, it looked like the potential townie has arrived. Talking to townies will help learn about what they want before they'll live here. So go over and introduce yourself. Go over and introduce yourself, Mayor. Hey. Baldo. Okay. Don't have to be mean to him. Interesting little town. I'm digging the... I'm digging the trying to turn your luck around vibe, but you, uh, you've you got going on here. Could be fun to stick around, but there's literally nowhere to stay. If you could sort out a house, I'm staying. Let's build him a house. Perfect timing. Boss just donated this parcel of land at no extra cost. This is where we can build a house from our, for our townie. This house will take, you guessed it, a few bricks and a few planks. 
I'll leaf it in your capable hands. Okay. You know what? I don't know if I want to play this anymore. What was that pun? Leaf it in your capable hands. What are we doing here? I'm obviously joking. Just funny. Uh, use. Hi, ghosts. I don't know why there's ghosts here, guys. All right, now I just need some uh, bricks, but I don't see any here. So let's go ahead and click B, go into build mode. And I would like a chainsaw. Can I go? Oh, okay, wait, with this. Can I go here and click? I'd like to move this right there. All right, we got a couple, uh, we got a couple planks. And let me guess, couple bricks. All righty. Out of the way. Backpacks clipping, backpacks clipping. Let's see. Can I pick, like, the style of the house? That'd be cool. Nope. You know what? I didn't want to pick the style. Now that the house is built, we can add a, your new townie. Interact with the mailbox out uh, the front of the house and select manage. Townies need homes before they can be assigned to uh, town jobs. Manage. Baldo. With housing organized, you now have someone who is ready to work in the town. Manage your shop and set them as a worker. Baldo. Well done, Mayor. Your training is now complete. We're calling it complete because the developers haven't finished writing the rest. <laughs> there will be more to learn about town, including the fishing and farming zones. You can build out those zones once you unlock the Ego Tech packages for them. While we're waiting for the rest of the town tutorial to be written, use the Towntopia app on your phone. There's some useful information there. I think that's hilarious that they really play into the devs aren't done. This is early access bit. Uh, we like to see how all our town co-mayors are doing. We rank each mayor based on the number of attributes. Uh, it's not... Uh, just who has the biggest ego wins, but it sure does help. Town better than all the other mares, simply. Uh, okay, you threw it in the trash. We got a calendar. Are there like events? Training, ar train arrive, train arrive, train arrive. Okay, there's no, no, no events yet. Town ranking. Where are we? Go, go town. Okay. We're not even scumville yet. Okay, rude. Tourist tracker. All right. Well, what? Oh, you kind of... Wait. That's kind of dope. You also kind of cruise on this, huh? Uh, okay, well, I think this might be a good place for me to wrap this bad boy up. Uh, in between episodes, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I, I don't, I, I don't think I'm going to do anything. But I know, uh, my twin brother, Bring the Party, wants to play together soon. So I don't know if that's happening next episode or what. But I'm looking forward to playing some more Go-Go Town. And thanks again to the devs for the early access. I'm not being paid to play, but I did get early access, which, you know what? I've been reaching out to a lot of devs for early access recently, but this one was uh, given to me by my brother as uh, he asked them if we could do some early access co-op, and they said, go right ahead. So 
happy to be here and enjoying some Go Cook Town. All right, guys, uh, this is the first video in a series, so make sure you like this one and comment. It ends up helping the more series more than you know. Thanks again, guys, and I hope I see all of you in that next video. Bye.